The English department is a distinct academic unit among English departments, not only here at Mason, but across the United States, and that we offer students two undergraduate options. One is the BA in English with a concentration, and the other is a BFA in creative writing. The BA in English offers seven distinct academic concentrations. So in the English department, you can study creative writing, literature, film and media studies, folklore, linguistics, cultural studies, or professional writing and rhetoric. If you get the BFA in creative writing, you're committing to an intensive workshop-based major where you're focusing exclusively on creative writing in fiction, nonfiction, or poetry. Like I've taken literature classes, creative writing classes, folklore, cultural studies classes, and if I wanted I could take film and media courses and linguistics classes all within the umbrella of the English major. Um, so I think the, that the options are so broad, even within your major, that that makes it really exciting. But because of the quality of the classes and the professors, you don't really have to compromise on depth either. So cultural studies is an interdisciplinary program. It's a pretty theoretical program, but it also pays attention to a whole range of cultural areas and objects, so folklore, film, literature. Uh, students who are pursuing creative writing within the department can either follow the BFA track or just choose a concentration in creative writing within the larger major. In either case, they have a chance to explore their interests um, in poetry, in fiction, in creative nonfiction, pursue those passions, develop those talents, um, and in the process build writing skills that I think would be useful beyond creative writing, writing skills that are valued in the workplace. Most of all, I think you'll find a community that is really welcoming no matter who you are and no matter who you want to be uh, to give you room to extend and reinvent yourself. Okay. The Film and Media Studies concentration offers courses in the interdisciplinary field of film and media studies and within our courses we make a point to blend both formal analysis or close reading of a given work as well as a study of that works cultural and historical context. So you will not only learn what the various components of film and, and television are called, but how those various elements signify and the ways in which film and television can disseminate, reproduce, and also disrupt dominant ideologies. So the concentration in folklore is a 12 credit sequence where students master the basics of folklore studies at the undergraduate level. We also offer an undergraduate minor in folklore, which is 18 credits, and it gives students the opportunity to go a little bit more in depth with the folklore studies program. Our concentration offers opportunity to explore vernacular culture, both locally and globally. Faculties in our program work in diverse geographies, including Africa, China, Central Asia, the Middle East, Latin America, and the United States. So with you know, prose or folklore or creative writing or something, um, literature, you're looking at kind of what you can create with language, what people have already created with language. In linguistics, we're more interested in how we make language or how we create language. So how do you take little sounds and put them together to make words? How do you take those words and put them together to make sentences? I and mean, how do we understand all of those things? So I think it kind of ties together what the rest of the department does and that we're looking at, you know, the language itself. So in our literature concentration, students take uh, 12 hours of 300 and 400 level classes, and these are really wide ranging. Um, they can include, you know, the usual suspects, the canonical American and British writers. So you can take Shakespeare, you can take Chaucer, you can take the Romantics, you can study the Brontes, the Jane Austen, um, and you can also study a specific genre. So you could take a course, for example, in contemporary American poetry. In addition to those types of courses, we also offer courses in um, diverse voices, right? Diverse global voices. So we offer the traditional courses, but we also offer a range of global literary voices as well. So the Writing and Rhetoric concentration at George Mason University focuses on the kinds of writing that are not creative writing. So academic writing, workplace writing, and public writing are the main areas that we focus on. The writing and rhetoric concentration prepares students to understand the role of writing in the world. 
and, and in our department, we help students to understand the, how writing enables action, how writing marginalizes people, and, and, and how to empower the world and people and marginalized population through the power of writing. Fall for the Book is a nonprofit literary festival that takes place here on campus and in Fairfax. Uh, it's been going on for over 20 years now, and every October, over the course of four days, we bring 150 authors to the area. They do readings, panels, um, book signings, and it's a lot of fun for the students and for the general public. All the events are free. Something that I really enjoyed about being a Mason student is the fact that the campus was so incredibly diverse. The students were always really kind. Um, there was a beautiful campus. Nature is such a huge part of Mason and it's integrated really beautifully. And I really enjoyed the selection of classes that I was able to take. Even classes that were mandatory for my major, I found a lot of excitement in and I was able to learn so much in other fields that I would have never even thought to um, do before.